Back from work, Ewan teaches in a further education college in a Bristol suburb. There was an incident in one of the classes that obviously doesn't have enough staff in. The students started kicking off. It became a dangerous incident. A lot of these students have autism to dyslexia, foster care. It took several members of staff to kind of calm students down and be able to get them back into class. This learning assistant has just found a room in a flat share. But rent in Bristol is expensive. The rising cost of living and energy bills soaring home sweet home. <laughs> mean he's struggling to make ends meet. So my monthly salary is a bit over £1,000. Previously, I'd be paid rent where it could be a 500 with bills that comes to 800 700 so That leaves you sometimes around about 200 quid, maybe for food, doctors, anything like that. We're all writing our CVs at the moment. You stay because of the students. Um, I don't want to abandon my students. Um, they're kids who haven't done anything wrong, they have learning difficulties or they happen to be from a certain background. He holds a master's in English literature and works full-time at the college. Still, he's forced to sometimes go to food banks. This would be my meal, say, for this evening. Um, Many teachers now have multiple jobs, like Ewan's girlfriend, who does babysitting after school. He thinks the government should value the public sector more. Uh, these people who spend their day-to-day -day working lives caring for others, especially vulnerable people, um, that they're having to, they're not being looked after themselves, and it makes you not only disillusioned, it kind of a lot of us, you know, say that we just want to move, not just move house, but move abroad. So most of my family now, you know, opt to Australia, New Zealand, America, because there's just better wages. Nearly one third of teachers quit after less than five years spent in the job. The private sector is often more appealing and schools are struggling to fill vacancies. Unions speak of a desperate situation with education standards at risk.